Okay, now you're going to solve where the lines cross, but you're not even going to graph it, okay? So the graph is not there. You need to find the crossing point without the graph. The solution solved the systems without graphing. Now there's two methods to this. Now you're just going to learn one in this video here. This is my method, my next go-to, okay? Circle the equals and find either the x or y by itself in one of the two equations. It doesn't matter which one, and it doesn't matter anymore if it's x or y. It has to be y if you're graphing it, but we're not graphing it. So this y is by itself, okay? That x is not by itself. That x isn't by itself. That y is not by itself. So that's the go-to. That is known as your base, okay? Now, once you get your base identified, you circle the other side of the equation. Now, this other equation is called my off base. So you write x plus y equals negative 32. Now, when writing the off base equation, trust me on this, you want your x and y to have coefficients in the front. And if they lack that and don't have it, you need to use 1. Now, I'm going to say this three times. Whatever the base letter is, we're going to insert a parenthesis over it. Whatever the base letter is, it could be X, it could be Y. In this case, it's Y. We insert a parenthesis. And then we scribble that out. And then we put 3X. Now, write this the new equation out. you got 1X plus 1, parenthesis 3X. And after the closed parentheses, we're equal to negative 32. Now we can solve for x. At this point in the problem, you need an x and an x or a y and a y. They have to match. The letters have to be matching, and they are, okay? Either as x's or as y's. Now, get rid of this parentheses. You put a times dot, and you notice how there's no plus in that parentheses? There is no plus, is there? You just make one rainbow. So that's just 1 times 3x. Okay, and that's 3x. So I just put a 3x there. Now you crossed out what you just multiplied. And you have to add the 1x in front. Now you combine the x's through the v. You don't do minus, minus, plus, plus. That's when they're on opposite sides. So that's going to be 4x equals negative 32. And I just have 4 times x. So that means we're going to be dividing by 4. So negative 32 divided by 4 is negative 8. So I put negative 8 for x. Now, we can, now we're going to solve for y. Now when solving for y, use the base equation that has the y by itself. x is negative 8, so then you parenthesize the x and put that answer in for it. Okay. So y equals 3, parentheses negative 8. Now y is all by itself. Okay, you don't need to do anything. You need to have the operations on this side. You got times, and then three times negative eight is all we have to do, and that's negative 24. Okay, so there's your answer. Okay, next one 6y plus 5x equals 8, and then x equals negative 3y minus 7. Now look for an x or a y by itself. Okay, we have an x by itself. It can be x as well as y, now that we're not graphing. There's my base. Circle the other side. Now write your off base, which is 6y plus 5x equals 8. Now, the parentheses is inserted in where the base letter is at. This time the base letter is x, so a parentheses goes over the x. It always goes over the base letter over here. Take out your x, and you put negative 3y minus 7. So you got 6y plus 5. Now you open up your parentheses, and you insert negative 3y minus 7 equals 8. Okay, now we have a y and a y this time, so we're good. As long as the letters match up, we're good. If you have a y and an x at this point, you did something wrong, okay? I'm just saying that. You better call me if you end up with that patiently. So we're equal to 8. Now we have to get rid of this parentheses crap. So we have a 5 here. 
Now, unlike up here where there was just one term in the parentheses, now there are two. So plus negative. Okay, so we need to multiply the 5 times each of these. See, up here I just took the 1 times 3x. Okay, and got 3x. Here I need to take the 5 times each one of these since there's two different things in there. So I drop my plus, and to save time, I'm not going to write this over here. Okay, you guys can do this. If you have to use a calculator, fine. 5 times negative 3y. That would be negative 15y. Now cross that out. And go 5 times negative 7, that's going to be negative 35. Done, now you're done with the 5. And then add 6y. Now it's hunky-dory. You just need to combine your like terms of y. 6 plus negative 15 is negative 9y. Plus negative 35 equals 8. So now y this is my only y. It has been simplified, so I just have y. We have a times negative 9 and a plus negative 35. Take out your number that's not times by plussing it. 8 plus 35 is 43. And we divide each side of our equation by negative 9. And I get another kind of weird decimal, or I get a weird decimal. So I go second, PRB equals, I got negative 4 and 7 ninths for Y. So put that into the coordinate, you have that. Now to get the X, go find, use the base, because that's the one we know has the X by itself. See, the letter I'm trying to find, I want to use the one where it's by itself, it's a lot easier. Okay. Now we put, we put a parenthesis over whatever we have the answer for. Okay. Negative 4 and 7 ninths. Now write that out. So you got x equals negative 3, parentheses negative 4 and 7 ninths, minus 7. Okay, so x is here all by itself. I just have three numbers over on the other side. I need to know their operations. I put a times and then a minus plus negative. Okay, so I times these two. I take negative 3 times negative 4 ABC 7 ABC 9 and I got 14 and 1 third. Keep that on the calculator please. Because now we have another operation. We have to add negative 7. So I just keep that on there. I go plus negative 7. A and S means it takes the answer from the previous screen. 7 and 1 third. Obviously I would expect to use a calculator on that. Okay. Next one, third example. x equals y minus 3, and then 3x plus 4y equals 7. Find me my base variable. Right there, x. Write the off base. 3x plus 4y equals 7. x is your base, so you parentheses just goes over the x. And you replace it with y minus 3. So 3, parentheses, y minus 3. And after the parentheses, don't just put equal 7, because after the parentheses is closed, you have to plus the 4y that was in the original. Okay. Now, slap a 1 in front of your y, make it plus negative. And with that plus means we need two rainbows, not just one. So two rainbows, I drop the plus. 3 times 1y is 3y. Three, 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. And then that goes 2. And then you add 4y. Okay, now I combine my like terms of y because they're on the same side. So that's going to be 7y plus negative 9 equals 7. Now I add 9, that's 16, divide by 7, and we're going to have our answer for y. Not good looking, so second PRB equals 2 and 2 sevenths is y. Now let's find x. Use the one that's got the x by itself. Okay. So now 2 and 2 sevenths is inserted in for y. 
So x equals parentheses 2 and 2 sevenths minus 3. Okay, x is over here. We're good to go. How many numbers do you have over here? That's 2. Okay, remember a fraction is one whole number. In between them is a minus, so we know the operation. I just go 2 and 2 sevenths plus negative 3, negative 5 sevenths. Okay, next problem. 3x plus 2y equals 23. 1 half x minus 4 equals y. Find me a base letter. Not there. You ain't going to find it right there. It's just a little backwards. Okay, so base is y. You've got to look carefully. Okay. And write the other equation. 3x plus 2y equals 23. So the y is your base, so it goes over the y. And we put 1 half x minus 4. So we have 3x plus 2 parentheses. You can put it times there. 1 half x minus 4. And after we close it, we have equals 23. Now let's look in the parentheses. I see two terms, plus negative. Okay? So again, you have to apply distribution. I don't even care if you take a calculator, drop your plus. 2 times 1 half x is 1 x. Okay? Done with that. 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. Done with that. And then you're done with the 2. Okay, then you got to remember to add the 3 x. Okay, combine your x's. So it's going to be 4x plus negative 8 equals 23. So x multiplied by 4, negative 8 is added, so we add 8. Takes you to 31. Now you divide by your 4. Now I get a decimal here, but I'm fine with it. I'll just, I'm fine with that decimal, 7.75. And then to find y, you use where the y is by itself. So 1 half x minus 4 equals y. So 7.75 replaces your y, your x, your x. That's your answer for x. So you got 1 half, parentheses 7.75, and then minus 4 equals y. Now y is over here. It's just backwards, but it's still by itself, so it's all set to go. On the other side, we have three numbers with a times and a minus, so plus negative. So I multiply that. When you multiply that, you get 3.875. And then you add negative 4, and it's going to be negative 0.125. That is the right answer. So you see decimals are okay. Cross out the next two, please. Okay. y equals 2x plus 1, 4x minus 2y equals 16. Okay, pretty obvious what the base is, it's y. Write the other one, 4x minus 2y equals 16. Okay, y is your base, put it in parentheses. Okay, 2x plus 1 comes in then, whatever's over here. So 4x minus 2, parentheses 2x plus 1, and after the parentheses equals 16. Okay, now here's your parentheses. You got a 2 there. If that has a minus, you want to make that plus negative. Don't forget that. So you have two terms in here that you need to multiply the negative 2 into. So you put a plus. Whenever there's two terms in that parentheses, you line up a plus, and then you distribute. Okay. Negative 2 times 2x is negative 4x. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. Then you plus 4x. That was already there. Okay. Okay, here's the deal, Neil. We add these x's, and they add to 0. Okay. You put 0x. Okay. I know you've never seen that before, because here's what you're going to do with it. 0x means it doesn't exist. Okay, put a zero, means it doesn't exist. You get rid of that, 
that's a no solution because the numbers aren't equal. They would be parallel if you graphed them. If these lines would be parallel if you took them to a graph. Okay, this one. I want to actually change something here. I want you to make this a... I want you to make that into a 15, please. Okay, 15. Okay, here's my equals. Put a 15 there. Well, X is my base. It's right here. There's what it equals. So I write negative X plus one half Y equals 15. Now I can't emphasize how important it is for each of these variables to have a coefficient in front. This would need a 1. So negative 1. So base goes to the x and you put 1 half y minus 15. So you have negative 1 parentheses 1 half y minus 15. Please look after the parentheses close. You have plus 1 half y equals 15. Guys, you have you have a fra you have a calculator to do fractions. It's not like it's a big deal. Okay, you have two numbers in here, plus negative. So you drop your plus, then you multiply and you multiply. Negative one times one half. I don't care if you punch it in on a calculator. It's negative one half y. Negative one times negative fifteen is fifteen. So that whole thing's gone, and then we have to add the one half y. Okay, combine your y's together. Those add to zero again. Okay, you can punch in on a calculator, but they'll add to zero. So I put zero y plus 15 equals 15. Now, if your variable ends up with a zero coefficient, gone. Okay. Now, you're like, well, those are equal. That's all solutions. If you wrote that, I don't care. But technically, in a system, it's IMS, meaning these are the exact same equation if you graphed them. Okay.